something is it? So, you want to see what warriors look like? Look close. We stand before you. We don't wear uniforms. We don't have to. We don't have camouflage or flags or stripes to tell us what family belongs. We'll cut our hands open and let you see our blood. That should be enough. We are warriors, but we don't use intimidation as a tactic. We don't have to bully or prove to others who is stronger. We don't have armor or bulletproof vests. We don't answer to a chain of command. When we fight, we know what we are fighting for. So we won't wear guns and we'll never use them. Because we don't think all warriors have to hurt. We are warriors. Warriors who don't play spy games or mind games. Never was the type to call you names. Don't have dossiers and secret codes. Instead, we'll open our doors to you and let you into our homes. We are warriors. The kind of warrior that shields. The kind that carries flames to warn To teach you what matters most. The kind of warrior that wears no mask. That listens but thinks freely. So when we speak, we know what we are speaking for. So we carry paper and wear our pens and use our voices to preach love and peace. I am not a colonel. I am not a king. I will never be president. I am just another man not willing to take arms or throw violence in language when life can't hold back its punches. So I'll become your warrior messenger, your canteen carrier, quenching your thirst for love poems, sending you words of wisdom, stories of children when love was innocent, cleaning your home of baggage and old issues so we are free to dream of romance under moonlit skies. And I will find kisses in secret places that are difficult to discover when you are on the front line. So when you feel shattered, I will be your battlefield medic, always keeping my shoulders free for you to cry on, ready to bandage you in arms and carry you to safer distances so you can rest. These are the things I want you to know as a warrior of love. Peace. Honestly, I don't know enough to teach enough or even preach enough while I barely understand enough myself. But when bombs are falling on your city, all you can do is hide. When darkness is your world, all you can do is try to continue to breathe. When I hear of death here and outside of our borders, all I can do is pray. So I'm praying constantly. But from where I stand, I'm going to do more than just pray. I'm going to do more than sign petitions and forward email. I'll stand up in front of crowds and shout verses of poetry. I'll shout verses I believe in. Food, not bombs, love, not war. This is what democracy looks like when we stand before you or when we're walking down the streets, hand in hand, chanting as warriors of peace. In times of war or outside of it, life is a constant struggle. It doesn't give us cause to hate. We advocate peace and love, love and peace. On a day when I'm faced with hardened beliefs that don't have space for mine, why waste energy on those who won't listen? I'll be subtle. Let them live their own truths and speak to those of you who really matter. Given a chance to defend my sister's honor, there is no doubt that I will take a stand and not waver from my truths. A warrior is proof of strength. We are warriors. The kind of warrior that loves you. No matter your make or model, sending you love notes and letters as I learned from you and from you about peace. The kind of warrior that places faith in conviction so far learned. And as I keep living peace and learning peace, I also learn from all of you about love. We are born from different threads, come from different patterns, wrapped in different patterns, and sewn together, side by side, mixing our individual differences, to become warriors who stand together like brothers. So, you want to see what warriors look like? Look closely. We stand before you. Thank, Thank you. you.